Today we're going to learn how to make this infinite starscape in After Effects using only stock plugins. So we're going to create a new composition, my settings here are 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames with a composition duration of 5 seconds. We'll rename this as something meaningful like infinite starscape and then hit OK. Next we'll create a new solid by right clicking on our workspace, heading over to new and solid. We want this solid to be larger than our original composition for reasons we'll see later. But for now, let's make it 4000 by 4000. We'll try to stay organized, so we'll rename this Starscape and hit OK. Now head over to the effects and presets panel on the right hand side and search for ball action. You should be able to find this under the simulation drop down. Drag and drop our effect onto the solid and we'll see that we've created a lot of uniform balls. Head over to the effect controls and increase the scatter value by clicking and dragging or by clicking and entering in a new value. And now you can see that it's starting to look more like a starscape. We can also increase the grid spacing which increases the space between the balls and we can also increase or decrease the ball size. If you're working along with me, my scatter is at 880, my grid spacing is at 15, and my ball size is private. And now that we've got a decent looking starscape, we're going to add in a new camera. Head over to the layer menu and go to new camera and hit OK. We're going to switch the views, so head over to this drop down here and select two views. On the left hand side is the field of view of our camera and on the right hand side is what our camera actually sees. If we grab onto our camera and move it around a little, we'll see that we're actually in a 3D star field. You'll also notice that the solid we created earlier has bounds much further than our original composition. This essentially just gives us more real estate for our camera to fly through. Let's get this thing animated now. We'll start by taking the point of interest marker here and drag it out so it's just about lined up with the edge of our solid. Next, use the shortcut home to send the playhead back to the beginning of our timeline. Make sure our camera layer is selected and hit P to bring up the position properties. Our camera is in 3D space, so we'll see X, Y, and Z values here, although we're only worried about the Z value at the moment. When we change this number, you'll see that it affects the depth of the camera's position, making it look like we're flying through the stars. Let's position the camera near the outside edge of the solid and hit the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Hit the end key which will take our playhead to the end of the frame and change the Z value to 0. Hit play to preview and there we go, we're flying through space. We gotta make this look good though so I'll show you a couple of tricks. First let's make sure we turn motion blur on by checking the motion blur checkbox and it's just these three fading circles here and also make sure that it's turned on for the project by clicking this icon. Next, we're going to add a fading trail. Head over to the effects and presets panel and search for echo. Drag and drop it onto our solid layer and go straight to the effect controls. Play around with these settings until you get the effect that you're after, but if you're interested, my settings are echo time at negative 0.02 seconds, number of echoes is at 30, starting intensity is at one, and finally 0.85 decay. The final touch I like to add is a little bit of a glow. If you have deep glow, use that, but I'll show you how to get a similar look using stock CC plugins. First, search for glow in the effects and presets panel and drag and drop the effect onto our solid. Change the glow radius to 60 and change the intensity to five. Let's pre-comp everything by dragging our composition over the new comp icon and in our new composition we're going to duplicate the layer. Add a Gaussian blur to the bottom layer and play around with the amount until you get the look that you're after. And there you go, we have an awesome looking effect with very little effort. So thanks for your time friends, if you have any requests leave a comment and I'll try to make it happen. Also shout out to Super Simon for those very kind words, thank you very much sir. You guys know what to do to support the channel and always remember, stay creative and go for broke.